He's gone from being the Prime Minister to the President of Serbia in an election that secured his victory in a landslide, but not without controversy. Aleksandr Vucic, a former radical Serb nationalist, rose to prominence as Minister of Communication during Slobodan Milosevic's presidency. In that role, he introduced laws clamping down on those who criticized the government and advocated a greater Serbia carved out of Bosnia and Croatia, a stance he has since recanted. But on his path to head of state, he has accumulated an enormous amount of power. As leader of the Serbian Progressive Party, Vucic boosted his presence by dominating both state and private media, despite complaints that he used his position as prime minister to an unfair advantage. He endorsed Serbia as a traditional ally of Russia and secured backing from Vladimir Putin. But there are other factors at play. Russia is not the only kingmaker here. Increasing trade with the European Union has brought Serbia closer to integrating with the bloc. Thank you, and Mr. Vucic has been keenly aware of that, seeking approval from European leaders who are disposed to welcoming countries under Russia's sphere of influence. Despite his victory in April's presidential election, he remains a divisive figure. Recovering from wars with its Balkan neighbors, Serbia has been beset by poverty and corruption. The days following Vucic's victory prompted thousands to take to the streets, most fearing he would use the presidency to consolidate his personal power. With support from Europe, Russia and beyond, Aleksandr Vucic has the backing that he needs for now. But the question remains, in which direction will he take the country as renewed tensions in the Balkans are, once again, threatening stability in the region. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera.